Due to the numerous immigration policies that have been introduced by UK and Canada in the last 18 months, many international students are struggling in Canada and in the UK. The numerous immigration policies that have been introduced by these two countries have left many international students stranded to the extent that many international students have been deported, many have been asked to leave, and many are currently facing deportation from these countries. Which was the reason some time ago I said it is now very, very important for people to look for alternatives, for people to look for other countries where they can go and study, where tuition fees are not that expensive, the way it is in Canada and in the UK. That is why this content is very, very important because I have brought alternatives to Canada and the UK. These countries I will be listing in this very content are countries where international students stands better chances of getting jobs while they are studying and landing full-time jobs when they finish their studies. This data was just revealed of recent directly from the source. So I said, let me bring this to the notice of my people so that you guys can start to apply to study in these countries. The tuition fees in these countries I'm about to reveal to you are not that expensive like that of schools in the UK and in Canada. The tuition fees in these countries are very, very affordable. I have a lot of people that are studying in these countries. So these are countries you guys should look forward to because it is very, very important for many of us to also note before I go deep into this video that there are many people who have the intention to study and work abroad. And if that is your goal, it is also very, very important you go to study where international students stand better chances of getting jobs during their study, which is the 20 hours a week, and landing full-time jobs after graduation. So this is what this content is all about. The alternatives are here. My name is Nosa Comedy, the man with the remedy. Many of my fans call me Nosa with the source from the source. That is because I bring legit update directly from the source to you undiluted. Please do well to subscribe to this channel if you have not yet done so. And I want to thank my returning and existing subscribers sincerely from my heart. Thank you very much for your wavering support. I love you guys. Thank you very much. Please also don't forget to give this content a big fat like or a big fat thumbs up, if that is what you may want to call it, so that YouTube can recommend this content to others who might also be interested. So let's go into this content. The alternatives are here. Everybody must not study in Canada. Everybody must not study in UK. There are many countries around the world where international students are studying beside Canada and UK. So I am going to start from number 10 to number 1 because this data was just released of recent. This is not just me bringing this data. This is directly from the source. So number 10 on the list is Belgium. Belgium is a country in Europe. And Belgium has borders with France, Germany, Luxembourg, and the Netherlands. Because it is also very, very important for me to state the countries that share borders with these countries for so many reasons. It is very, very important. Because once you have the Schengen visa or the student visa in these countries, you can also assess these countries. In the Schengen zone, 
So that is why it is very, very important for me to let you know the countries that are sharing borders with these countries. So the official currency in Belgium is the euro. And the population in Belgium is about 11.7 million. The percentage of graduates that we employed in Belgium this last time was 86.4% of graduates we employed. These are people who finished their studies and got employment. That is to say, out of every 1,000 graduates, over 860 of them got employment. Number nine on this list is Sweden. Sweden shares borders with Norway and Finland. And their official currency in Sweden is the Swedish krona. And the population in Sweden is about 10.6 million people. And the percentage of graduates that were employed this last time was 87.9%. That is to say, out of every 1,000 graduates, almost 880 of them were given jobs. These are countries where you have to go and study. And these countries on this list, all of them, their tuition fees are very affordable, not like what they pay in Canada and the UK. Number eight on this list is Hungary. Hungary is in Europe. And Hungary shares borders um, with Slovakia, Ukraine, Romania, Serbia, Croatia, Slovenia, and Austria. Their official currency in Hungary is the Hungarian foreign. The Hungarian foreign, that is what the currency is called. And the population in Hungary is about 9.6 million people and the percentage of graduates that we employed last time was 87.9 percent so they had a tie with sweden number seven on the list is norway norway is in europe and norway shares borders with sweden finland and russia and the currency right there in norway is the norwegian krone the norwegian krone and the population right there in Norway is about 5.5 .5 million people. And the percentage of graduates that we employed the last time was 88.2%. That is to say, out of every 100 graduates, over 88 of them got employment. Number six on the list is Ireland. Ireland shares border with the UK. And the official currency in Ireland is the euro. And the population right there in Ireland is about 5.5 million people. And the percentage of graduates that got employed the last time was 87, or 88 rather, 88.7. That is to say, out of every 100 graduates in Ireland the last time, over 88 of them got employed. So that number is huge. These are places you should go and study. That is to tell you that there are job opportunities here in these countries. Number five on the list is Austria. Austria is in Europe and Austria shares borders with Germany, Czech, Slovakia, Slovenia, Hungary. Italy, Switzerland, and Liechtenstein. And their official currency in Austria is the euro. The population in Austria is about 9 million. And the percentage of graduates that were employed last time was 89%. That is to say, out of every 100 graduates, 89 got jobs. Number four on the list is Germany. Germany is a country in Europe. Germany shares borders with Denmark, Netherlands, Belgium, Luxembourg, France, Switzerland, Austria, 
Czech Republic and Poland. And their official currency right there in Germany is the euro. The population right there in Germany is around 84 million people. And the percentage of graduates that were employed the last time was 91.5%. You can see how high that is. That is to tell you that out of every 1,000 graduates, over 910 of them got employment. Out of every 100 graduates in Germany, over 91 of them got employment. You can see how high that is. Number three on the list is Iceland. Iceland is a country in Europe, and the official currency right there in Iceland is the krona. The population in Iceland is over, or let me just say, 383,700 and something people. And the percentage of graduates that got employment the last time was 92.8%. So, out of every 1,000 graduates in Iceland, over 920 of them got jobs. Hmm. There are jobs in this country, Sha. Number two on the list, Netherlands. Netherlands is a country in Europe and they share borders with, it shares borders with Belgium and Germany. And the official currency in the Netherlands is the euro. Population in the Netherlands is 18 million people. And percentage of graduates that got employment the last time was 93.2%. That is to say, out of every 100 graduates in the Netherlands the last time, over 93 of them got employment. Wow. And the number one on the list that gave employment to more graduates was, and still is, Malta. Malta. Malta is a country in Europe, it's like an island close to Italy. And their official currency in Malta is the euro. And the population right there in Malta is 540,000 people. 540,690 something people right there in Malta. And the percentage of graduates that got employed the last time was 95.8%. That is to say, out of every 1,000 graduates in Malta the last time, or last year rather, over 950 of them got jobs. So tell me why you will not start looking forward to study in these countries if you are one of those people looking forward to study internationally. This is directly from the source, undiluted. These are fact-checkable information. These are verifiable information. So this information, you can verify it anywhere. It's coming from Nosa Comedy, the update king. So guys, I will be dropping the videos back to back back to back and let me know what content you want me to drop next have a good one guys thank you very much